Today on IODP Expedition 318, Wilkie's Land. Exploring the history of Antarctica. I'm Adam Klaus, and welcome to the Wilkesland Expedition. It's really great to have you all here. Um, For me personally, it's a real challenge to try to make people feel comfortable working in this alien environment with these radically different cultures, with these different languages, our, our different ways of interacting, sometimes very direct, sometimes other cultures are less direct. Um, I, and, and trying to go from the beginning of the expedition and having a successful completion to the expedition and to bring that full circle, I get a great enjoyment out of seeing that happen and, and helping facilitate that. The jump. During the cruise, the very first few days are, are a bit crazy for me. Um, we have 30 scientists, 15 to 20 technicians, and we're trying to form those into teams that work very closely. How much sample you need? Obviously, we want to take just enough. We yeah. have scientists Not from all the 22 much. different member countries, and they come from very diverse backgrounds. Um, and my job is to try to get them to know what's going on on the ship, help introduce them to the ship, the laboratories, life on board, and help our staff bring them into living on the ship and working on the ship in teams. Um, one of the things is, as a total team here, we need to be completely prepared for when that first core comes on deck. So the first week of the cruise is uh, e exceedingly challenging for me. Uh, there's many questions all the time. We have non-stop meetings for the most part. We have to do the captain's safety orientation. People have to be safe on the ship. Um, but people are really good out here, and it's I've you know properly set up in the early parts of the cruise, setting the right type of atmosphere of supportiveness and cooperation makes a big difference in making sure that those challenges we meet later um, are easily overcome. The mission. The mission for this expedition is really cool. It's understanding and investigating the history of climate since about 40 million years ago. And so from 40 million years ago to present day, the climate on Earth has changed quite radically and varied over time. And so in addition to that, we're going to be looking at the influence of the ice sheets on Antarctica and when they started and how they have changed over time. And this may seem like it's just related to Antarctica, but in reality, the, the changing ice sheets on Antarctica reflect the global climate and have affected climate and atmospheric conditions and oceanographic conditions throughout the world over time. And so what we find here actually are reflected in ocean sediments throughout the world. In fact, one of the really cool things about me being out on here is just seven months ago, I was on an expedition in the equatorial Pacific, south of Hawaii, where we were sampling cores from the same period, from the greenhouse world to the icehouse world, that changed about 34 million years ago. That really reinforces to me that what we're investigating are global effects of changing climate, and it is one Earth system. People sometimes think core catchers are not very useful samples. This information that we collect out here is just about the only way to provide some information to the people who will be working and doing models of how our climate will change in the future. Today on Penguin TV, Ocean drilling for kids. Ice, ice, Hi, I'm Adam. And I am Hank. Ice, and I am Carlota. Ooh, what is this? 
Oh, I think it's a core. Do you know what a core is? No, what's a core? K pass K S. I don't know. It looks like it's made of rock. Yeah, it's a plastic tube, and inside is mud that comes from underneath the seafloor. Mud? Why would you want mud under the seafloor? Oh my God! I think we're on the drill ship. Oh. We're going home. We're going home. Yay! We're going home. Yeah. I want to go home. Not yet, not yet. We need to study this course a little bit before we go home. Why do we need to study the core? What's in the core? The man has the history of the Earth, and we need to check it out. Yeah, but what's what's the top and what's the bottom of the core? Ah. Adam, do oh. you know something about this? Yes. I think the blue end is the top. Oh, the blue end. Oh, that's over there. No, it's over the there. No, it's over there. No, no, no. Oh! Ah! The team. There's an incredible bonding experience that goes through. We're out here working 12 hours a day, seven days a week. You're working very closely with these people. These are your friends and family. These are the people who help you through things. And it's a great experience. There's an incredible amount of bondings. When I'm traveling around the world to science meetings or, or going to different cruises or I come across these people, I have a lot of close friends now. You learn about their families, you learn about what they like to do. It's a wonderful thing, and that's one of the nicest things about the program, is building those relationships. This core was taken during a time where we had the same levels of CO2. So when I get to the end of an expedition, there's nothing left of me. I've expended every piece of energy, and I have to be very careful not to get a week from the end of the cruise and still have a week more and not have enough energy left. Staring up the road, for me, that allows me to go to a different place, and, and it's an enjoyable thing that is very personal to me, and it reminds me of my wife and my daughter, and uh, that gives me a lot of freedom. But we have to make sure we complete everything on the ship, so we're staying focused all the time. Today on Gone in 30 Seconds with Stephen Picard. Very good. Antarctic climate, the final frontier for understanding global climate changes. We will explore climate change of the past at Antarctica by drilling thousands of feet below the sea floor. These sediments were deposited tens of millions of years ago. We will expand our understanding of past climate change to help us understand and predict future climate changes. To boldly go where no drilling bit has gone before. Engage. And we'll make it so.